Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. I recently read an article in the New York Daily News which stated that marriage rates are down due to a shortage of so-called economically attractive men. And I talked about this subject in depth in my book, The Man Crisis, because I understand the reason why there is this shortage of so-called economically attractive men. Now, the reason why there is this shortage of a economically attractive men is because most of the job market these days is controlled by women. Women have a majority of the jobs in America and the West job market. And moreover, women control the human resource departments and most of the hiring in America's job market. And because women control the hiring at most of these jobs, they use their female own group preference to hire more women and they use that same female own group preference to discriminate against men. And many of these women believe that they have a right to discriminate against those men because they believe that the job market was biased against them and they want to make efforts to make it so-called equal. However, when one looks at the statistics of the census, they clearly see that America's job market has been made far more than equal for the last 20 or so years because women now control a majority of the jobs in America's economy and moreover they control the hiring at most American corporations. And as an indirect result of women controlling a majority of the jobs and the hiring, this prevents men from finding access to employment. And that again, that female-owned group preference in the job market keeps many men from entering the workforce. And as a result, many men have wound up frustrated and angry and then deciding to walk away from the American job market. And this is what's leading to the so-called shortage of economically attractive men. Many of the men who want to come into the American workforce can't come into the American workforce because women control the hiring. And as a result of those women keeping those men out of the job market, this prevents these men from being seen as sexually attractive by women who are looking for a partner in a relationship. And because those women do not see a man who has financial resources or stable financial resources due to many women in the workforce making efforts to sabotage men with things like false sexual harassment claims or claims that this man isn't doing his work on the job effectively, trying to get him terminated for malicious reasons, this prevents men from having that stable employment and having that stable job that makes him economically attractive to a woman and sexually attractive to a woman. Because one of the reasons why many women choose to pursue a relationship with a man is the fact that he has economic stability. However, most men these days cannot maintain economic stability in today's job market because most of these jobs don't last that long. The average job these days barely lasts a year to two years and many of those men who actually do get these jobs have to wind up keep looking over their shoulder as a result of a this era of Me Too where a woman can just make an allegation against a man and that allegation can lead to that man losing his good job and his ability to appear to be economically attractive or get on the road to becoming economically attractive. So when it comes down to these women who complain about the shortage of economically attractive men, many don't see 
how they are playing a part in preventing men from being economically attractive by doing things like denying men access to the job market by not hiring men and then hiring more women. And they don't see how they are also preventing men from becoming economically attractive by doing things like trying to sabotage men on the job or making efforts to try to get a man fired from his job. Because in order for that man to be that economically attractive partner that women want to pursue, he needs job security, he needs employment stability, and he needs a work environment that will allow him to start building the foundation so that he can start laying the economic foundation that will allow him to go out here and start building a relationship with a woman and possibly work towards building a family. Unfortunately, in this era of third wave feminism, it is next to impossible for a man to become that economically attractive partner because in this era of third wave feminism, most of the women control the jobs, they feel they are being oppressed by men, and because they feel they're being oppressed by men, they believe they are justified in their bias towards women, and they believe they are justified in using their female own group preference to create a brick wall in the human resource department that keeps men from entering the workforce and they believe that it is their right to control the workforce because they want to smash the so-called patriarchy and they believe that this is going to lead to them being able to empower themselves to the point where they can find this so-called economically attractive man. Unfortunately, economically attractive men are not created in an environment that is filled with feminism, nor is it created in an economic environment where women control a majority of the jobs and control um, the most of the human resource departments here in America and the West. No, the only way to develop the so-called economically attractive men is to create a business environment that allows men an opportunity to go out here and compete and create an environment where men can have some sort of job security and stability. But we don't have this now, and this is why more and more men are walking away from the American workforce, walking away from the American corporate rat race because they don't see anything economically beneficial to them. Moreover, they don't see anything beneficial to them as related to marriage due to these no-fault divorce laws from the 1970s and these child support laws from the mid-1990s, which literally punish a man all because a woman just decides that she's not happy and she doesn't want to be married anymore. And because those women say that they don't want to be married anymore, what happens is most men feel that they have no option other than to not get married because they will they believe they will be punished by these divorce courts and these family courts, which are heavily biased against men and biased towards women. And these courts literally make it where men have no incentive to go out here and get married. And even worse, now thanks to this era of Me Too, where an allegation of a sex crime or an allegation of har sexual harassment can lead to a man winding up possibly losing his job and his professional reputation, or even in some cases his freedom, most men have next to no incentive to even think about looking in the direction of a woman or even making any sort of effort to pursue any sort of relationship with a woman. Now, this whole thing about economically attractive men, this is just another symptom 
of the man crisis here in America. And it's a situation that will, as I see it, not get rectified until men confront women and then feminists start making some sort of concessions because if they don't make any sort of concessions, then men have no incentive to pursue any sort of relationship because they cannot get access to the job market to, to have an economically stable base, nor can they have, nor do they feel safe enough or secure enough to pursue a relationship with a woman because they fear that if they pursue that relationship with a woman, they will wind up getting either fired from their job or, in the most extreme cases, wind up getting arrested for a sex crime based only on an allegation and not on any sort of criminal investigation. And it's this hostile environment against men that is the main reason why marriage rates are down. And these marriage rates will get even lower as long as the environment is created, this gynocentric environment is created that prevents things from giving men the incentives to go out here and provide for women. Because in order for a in order for men to be able to think about considering a relationship with a woman, he needs to have his security as related to his freedom, his security as related to his safety, and his freedom as related to his employment. And today's job market makes it where men have none of this security, and because they have none of this security, this is why we have this shortage of economically attractive men, because we've empowered the woman at the expense of men, and we've gone out of our way to destroy the man. And if we destroy the man, then the man has no reason to propose marriage. And this is something that the feminist doesn't understand, is that, yes, the woman can choose her partner, but that man has the is the one who goes out of his way to choose who becomes his wife. He is the one who proposes marriage to the woman, and if he's not placed in a place where he's economically stable and he's secure as related to his freedom, then he has no incentive to propose a marriage to a woman and he has no incentive to propose any sort of union between himself and a woman if he fears that this woman will destroy everything that he's built because 80% of all marriages and, and divorces filed by women. And because that's we have so many women filing for divorce, men no longer see marriage as something that is economically attractive to them at all. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to learn many of the reasons why so many men are opting out of the job market and opting out of marriage, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats. And you can also find The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBook store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.